Hey Kristen, it's Cass here at Rally Subaru. I'm about to go do this little video for you on the Forester. I'm just all bundled up. It's not the sunniest day here. It's a little snowy and overcast, but at least we've got some daylight to have a look at it together. So let's do it. So I came out this morning and I cleared off the vehicle and I started it up, started it up fine. And I tried to clear the snow off as best as I could. So let's have a look at it together. I'm gonna try and look in all the really high wear areas where we normally see you know, more damage, more wear and tear over time. Uh, we do see the new fog lights that they put in. That was one of the items that they caught when it went through the shop. This is one of the upper trims for the year as well. So there are a few little touches, a few little nice extras that we will see. How's our wheels look? Oh, no curb rash on this one. Impressive, given the mileage. Got our all-season tires. These are good years, looking to be in good shape. The Forester did come with a, a small sort of accessory splash guard. It was subtle, but they all came with it for the year. But this little piece here, this was an add-on. So this is the, what did we call this? This is the not the door edge protector, but this is the body side molding. There we go. So this is protecting you from door dings from other people who might be bumping into your doors. You see a little nick on the mirror there. Let's look into our... So one nice thing that Subaru's been doing for a number of years, and it's really tough to see. Unfortunately, I can't really show it very well, but you can kind of see the lines there. So there's actually a heated wiper placement where those wipers sit on the glass. And that is probably one of my favorite features, period, just in general. I, lo I love that feature. Have a look inside here. So this was a, a sort of ivory or gray interior. And it shows quite well, actually. I see a little bit of, little, just a tiny bit of, of kind of maybe creasing in the leather. But otherwise I don't really see any rips or tears. I do see a few little nicks in the center armrest cover there, which does slide up, which is nice. Got a spot for a USB or an auxiliary and a 12 volt little compartment there and you can take that out. And you get the dual stage, heated front seats, cup holders, climate settings. Kind of funny seeing the uh, Fahrenheit on the temperature control there, but there it is. I guess I could turn the heat on now. Um, this being the limited trim did have a slightly nicer infotainment little setup here. You get the extra little clock temperature time up top there. Got a spot for sunglasses, which doesn't seem to want to open for me. I'm going to look into that a little bit more. It could just be the cold. The cold does funny things. And then we do get that large panoramic sunroof, which I love. I love having all that extra light in the cabin. And then we get a nice view. So here, like, you know, if I was doing a shoulder check, you get a good idea of the, the visibility that this vehicle has. A nice, large square window at the back and at the back there too do you have the um center armrest and our rear seats and this is actually kind of neat i actually use this myself in mine if i'm on a road trip and i need more cup holders you get two little extras here which is kind of neat i like having maybe a coffee and a water and a coconut water and can never have too many liquids when i'm on a drive and then, uh, yeah, you do have Bluetooth cruise. Got our variable wipers. Headlights, fog lights. Power mirrors. Power windows, of course. Have a look at our floor here. You know, it really does show quite well. I did see that there is a, a tear on that seat there but I'm surprised there's not more wear and tear given the mileage, I really am. So there we go. 
I'm gonna look at the side. You know, it's not perfect. I see small little bits of wear and tear, but I don't really see anything major. There's that door edge guard doing its job. I see maybe just the slightest kind of hint of surface corrosion there. Pretty subtle though. This is a factory piece too. They put a bit of 3M from the factory in this sort of higher wear area and you can see it's doing its job. Seat back pockets. You know, I'm about 5'11", and this seat is pretty far back too. But even so, like, I still have good space here. I'd be comfortable like this. I'm sure the front person, if there was someone in the back, they'd move up a little bit, but I'd be fine driving like this. I like that the floor is nice and flat. There's a hump in the middle, but it's not huge. And there's enough space here, you know, you can, you can spread out a bit. around to the back. This piece I love. Uh, I, I don't actually know if it came stock or if it was just an accessory that everybody got, but this uh, rear bumper step pad, it wears very, very well over time. It takes abuse well. So if you're loading, you know, skis or something in the back, just cargo, and you, know, you do have a, a pretty relatively flat entry too. Dual exhaust. And we do have our cargo tray and you do have a cargo cover too that you can you know pull out and you hook it on the sides maybe keep your belongings out of sight maybe out of the sunshine underneath there is room you can store that cargo cover in those little slots right there and then room for maybe some roadside stuff maybe a roadside emergency kit and then we have a spare tire in the back here doesn't look like it's been used which is nice No, I'm, I'm looking here. I'm looking for notable damage. And I'm just, I'm just seeing like very, very small things. You know, you have to get really close up. When you give it the old 10 foot rule, it is really clean. Maybe a little scratch there. A little wear in the door cup, that's pretty normal. Just your nails and rings and stuff will wear into that. There's that door edge protector, or sorry, the body side molding doing its job again. Oh, that was just some dust. Get onto my hood. Looks like some kind of maybe a sap or something maybe hit that. I might see if I can even polish that out a bit. I see a small scuff on the front bumper there. The other new fog light. Why don't we turn on our headlights while we're at the front of the car too? tiny nick down there in the plastic you know some small rock chips you know my Forester has like a third of the mileage that this one does and I have more rock chips in my hood but my Forester has lived in Canada it didn't have the luxury of living in the States for a while where they don't have as much road debris rock salt cold Oh yeah, and I was looking at the wheels here too. I didn't see any car brush on any of the wheels either, which is also impressive to see. Okay, I spoke too soon, a little bit on that one, but that's the only mark that I saw on the wheels that's of notice. Well, oh. there we go. Hopefully that was informative. Um, let me know if you want me to touch on anything else if uh, you need some more information but you know this Forester does show very well uh, it is quite clean um, very surprising and uh, I think it's would be a good little vehicle for you given your sort of needs and wants and what you might have planned for it in the future so I'm gonna head back inside and warm up and uh, send this video to you and then I'll follow up a little bit later today and chat about it some more hope you're doing well Kristen and we'll talk soon bye